This is your Celestron Astromaster 130 telescope. And we're going to step through some of the things that are on it. Uh, let's go ahead. It's a, got a German equatorial mount, which is a really nice mount for doing manual uh, adjustments of where the telescope is when you're looking at astronomy. But it looks a little bit daunting as you uh, look at it. I've got the counterweights. Uh, put on there and locked in place just to keep it stabilized but there's lots of different little numbered dials on there and so it can be a little bit confusing as to what those are so let me describe them uh, down here you'll go through and set the latitude of your of your uh, observing location and so this little thing can go in and out to adjust that and then this locks that in place and tightens it uh, we're observing from uh, Elon, North Carolina, which is a latitude at 36, and so I've set that to roughly 36, but you can adjust that to be more precise uh, using Polaris, the, the North Star, uh, to adjust it later. Uh, and then over here, we've got the adjustments for the right ascension and declination. Those are kind of like latitude and longitude in the sky. Uh, right ascension tends to go from zero to 24 in terms of like as if you know, 24 hours in a day. And those correspond roughly to the longitude lines in the sky. And then our declination over here tells us uh, the equivalent of our latitude. And all of these markers have little tiny uh, metal pieces denoting, little triangles denoting what we're set at. So right now we've got a right ascension uh, set to approximately 12 and a declination set to uh, a little bit over 30, uh, just because I happen to set it there. Uh, if I end up loosening this up and pivoting the telescope to 90, 90 is the North Celestial Pole. So this thing, uh, if it was aligned correctly and pointed, that should point to uh, Polaris, the North Star, uh, when you're at a declination of 90, no matter what the right ascension is, so long as you've got your uh, uh, the latitude for where your observing location is correct. So you'd probably set that roughly first, set that to 90, and then get this thing pointed at uh, at uh, the North Pole. Now that said, uh, even if you don't do any of that, if, and if you just want to point it at something, that's fine too for getting started. My first telescope didn't have any German equatorial mount, it just sat on a tripod. Uh, probably the thing or the, the things that you do need to worry about when you're pointing are, you've got this nice little easy finder here that lets you look into the sky, but to do that, you gotta turn it on so you dial this knob until it's all the way forward. It's a little red dot on, like a little, little gun sight. And I don't know if I can see it. It's so bright out, I can't see it right now. Uh, but we'll look at it a little bit later. It takes a little while. There you can kind of just barely see that little red dot. There we go. You can see that little red dot. Line that red dot up with what you want to look at. And then the other key piece is the eyepiece. And here I've put on, I've got a 15 millimeter eyepiece on there right now. Uh, I'm going with the largest eyepiece that you've got to start with, 15 millimeter, which is going to do the least amount of magnification. But that's a good place to start. We'll tighten that back up. And then we can t dial this knob to move it in and out and focus. That your light from the telescope is coming in the front here, and I've taken the cap off of it, and it hits that primary mirror in the back. Let's see if I can focus on. It's that primary mirror in the back. Comes up back to the secondary mirror that's right here. And then up into the eyepiece, all right? So doing a lot of bouncing around uh, for you to get that light. And so there's your quick introduction to the parts that, uh, for
for both your ride ascension and declination, you've got several, you've got both a little fine tuning knob that allows you to move things a, a little bit. And there's the fine tuning for one. Here's the fine tuning for the other one. This allows you to adjust the right ascension a little bit. This allows you to adjust the declination a little bit. But then if you want to adjust it a lot, uh, rather than turning that knob a little bit, you would go ahead and just unlock this piece and move the whole scope back and forth. And then lock it in place when you're there. Likewise, over here is your lock for the right ascension. So you can unlock that, move the telescope, you know, quite a bit. And then if you need to, do fine tuning, all right? It's a little bit unintuitive uh, to start pointing things with the German equatorial mount, uh, but, once you, uh, be, uh, but once you get familiar with it, it makes it a lot easier to look at things uh, that are up in space.